Hello everyone! I hope you're all having a lovely morning today. Um, it's spring, yay! <laughs> everyone loves spring. I've got my lovely flowers here from my garden. Um, I'm actually really bad at gardening, so this is the only flower I have in my garden. <laughs> um, I'm going to come on today to talk to you about some of my spring essentials in the salon. Um, I've got five of my top picks, my favourite products that I could not live without. And um, just why that I use them in spring particularly um, is what I'm going to discuss with you today. So my first choice is this Serena tunic. Um, this is a groom professional tunic. I'm just going to get off my chair, get off my bottom. Do a little spin. Ta da! <laughs> Feel like I'm in a musical now. Um, so this tunic is fantastic. It's really breathable. You can see how thin it is. I'll just come a bit closer. You can see how thin it is. It's airy and it's got lots of give. It's quick drying, so you don't have to worry about being soaking wet and getting cold. Um, it's also got a lot of give at the sides. I'm not sure, let me come back here so you can see. It's got these little bits here. Um, now I'm gonna tell you, this tunic has lasted me through two pregnancies. So I've had two children and not had to change this tunic. It comes in at an amazing 23.95. And it's lasted me four years now, which is fantastic. Um, it's lasted me two stone weight gain. Oops, two stone weight loss. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and two babies. So I really recommend this for spring. Um, it's fantastic when you get hot and bothered in the salon. You don't need to worry about being kind of sweaty. And it's so easy to wash as well. So I just pop it in the wash when I leave work on a quick wash, 30 minutes, um, with some detergent and it smells amazing in the morning. It dries overnight, so I don't have to wait days and days. You don't need like five different tops because you can just wash them overnight. So this product is amazing. Love this one. My second product I'm gonna talk to you about is this table. Look how beautiful it is. This is my Groom Professional Everest table. It's very shiny, very new, and honestly, I have no idea how I have lived without this beautiful bit of equipment. Um, so as you saw when I stood up, I'm about 5 foot 10, 5 foot 11. I say I'm 5 foot 11, my partner always says I'm 5 foot 10. But um, I need an extra tall table. For probably about nine, 9 years now, I have groomed on a normal table. And honestly, I cannot believe the difference. If you are over 5 7, you need this table in your life. <laughs> it goes up really high. I will show you. It's not quite high already, but I will pop it. Bearing in mind, I am five foot 11, 10. <laughs> this is where it comes up to. So it's so high, I can do feet just like this, and they're right in front of me. It's fantastic. I'll walk you around a little bit just so you can have a little look at it. So this is the Groom Professional Table. It's got an amazing H-bar with adjustable rings up the top here so that you can pop your dog anywhere. So a lot of tables have the three loops, which obviously, if you've got a dog that's really short and you have a loop, only three loops, it doesn't give you much option of where to put stuff, so that's really good. Um, you have the option. Also down the bottom here, <clears throat> some foot pedals, so it just goes. Oh, I can show you my nice shiny shoes, yay. So down and up. So it's so easy to use, you don't have to worry about it. Um, so I'll just pop you back up here. <laughs> there we go. Um, you don't have to worry about leaving your dog to kind of faff around with a remote control or anything like that. It's all just by your foot. So you can carry on grooming. If something's not quite right with the height, you can just put it up or put it down really easily. Um, it's also got this amazing non-slip mat, which you can get in pink or blue. Obvious, like, I chose pink because I love pink. <laughs> the whole salon is basically pink. Um, so I chose pink and it's a non-slip top, so the little dogs feel a bit more secure. Um, it's got a dust adjustable H-bar as well. So this is definitely my top pick for spring. Obviously, in spring, our salons are so, so busy. So it's really good to have good equipment. Um, you can do your job so much efficiently, so much quicker, um, so much safer and without putting your body at risk. So our job is so physical, you need to make sure you have that good equipment so that you don't have backache, neck ache. If you've got backache, neck ache every single day when you're leaving work, you need to look at your salon and reassess your equipment 
because if you're going to be grooming for 10, 15 years, you don't want to have equipment that's, um, that's going to hurt you. So, yes, the Groom Professional Tool Everest Cable is my second pick. Um, so, third top spring product. I'm going to go for the speed wash. Let's go in the middle. So, this is, just bring it a bit closer. This is a speed wash. So, it's a dry shampoo essentially. Um, not going to lie, I have used this in my hair <laughs> when I haven't washed my hair. Um, I do wash my hair, don't worry. Just, <laughs> I have young children, so I forgot one day. And I'd like to test the products, to be honest. And it smells amazing, so I really like the smell of this. And what you do is, you just pump it on. This is a new bottle, so I just need to do a couple of pumps. There we go. And you can see, it comes out like a foam. So, I don't have my dog's here today, otherwise I'll show you how to use it on you. Just rub it in your hands, and it's actually got cleansing agents in. So, you can just rub that in, and it works really well with staining. I'm going to put it on my hair. <laughs> And then you just kind of scrunch it in the hair, wipe it over any parts of the dogs, and it is just like dry shampoo for us, really. Um, it's got cleansing agents in, it naturally cleans the coat. It's got an absolutely beautiful baby fresh smell. So they smell like the baby powder, the baby fresh um, fragrance, which is really lovely as well. It's just really good for those in between. We actually sell it as a retail product. So if customers can't bath their dogs at home, which a lot of ours can't, we do have some elderly clients that can't bath their own dog. We recommend just using this in the middle just to get rid of any staining, any dirt, any odour um, and it really does help for just those freshen ups in between um, which in spring is quite important because they all get quite dirty and stuff. So my third product I'm going to recommend today is the Bye Bye Buzz shampoo. I cannot physically say buzz without going buzz. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> I just, I just can't say it. Um, I think it's because my kids and go buzz, and my dogs chase flies. So when they chase them, we always go buzz. So anyway, <laughs> sorry, back to the product. So I can't say this product properly because I have to go buy by buzz. Um, <laughs> but this is a shampoo. It comes with a spray as well, um, <clears throat> and it's really good. I'll just move that a bit closer for you so you can see. So bye bye buzz. Um, and that has actually got neem oil in. Now for years and years, people have used neem oil as a natural flea repellent. I'm very, very pro-natural. I will go for any natural products that there possibly is. Um, it's better for the skin, it's the same as us. The more natural, the better, the less chemicals, the better. Um, so it's got neem oil in, and that just helps repel the fleas, ticks, any other kind of bugs that come out in spring, which as we all know as groomers are rife in spring. They just all come out and all the dogs have fleas. Um, even some that are flea treated with the chemical um, vet one, which are, are brilliant, it, they can still pick them up. So it's really important to also repel them. So although they will pick them up and as soon as they bite they will die, it still is a bit annoying for them to have them on them and have them have to bite before they die, really. So this is a repellent, so you can use this in line with a professional flea treatment. Um, it's non-toxic, so that's brilliant. And it also has coconut oil in, just for that extra protection of the coat as well. So if you're bathing quite regularly, it's not gonna affect the skin, it's not gonna affect the coat. Um, personally, I bath mine in a um, groom professional shampoo and then I put this on top in spring because it just leaves that scent, the neem oil, and it repels any fleas or ticks wanting to go on. Um, I have poodles, as many of you know, and it doesn't affect their coat in the slightest in a bad way. It, it's lovely, the coconut oil leaves it nice and sleek, nice and smooth, um, and it smells amazing, actually. <laughs> it smells really good. So what I do is I actually dilute my shampoo in a jug. So I would put some of this in a jug, fill it up with water, and then I use I don't know how to describe them. The poofy shower things that we use for us. <laughs> I actually wash dogs in those because I find that they foam up the shampoo. Um, any shampoo, they foam it up amazingly. You can really get into the armpits, under the ears um, with those. Um, so I dilute it in the jug. I would just apply this onto the dog and then shampoo them all over, rinse them. And you can do it twice if you want. So if you've got a dog with a particular flea problem that goes in a lot of shrubs, in a lot of foliage, you can definitely do a couple of coats of the shampoo and then if you even wanted to you could follow up with the Bye Bye Buzz 
spray as well. So you could always use the spray after. So there's a really good selection. Um, again, a must have in spring, stop fleas and ticks. This is a really good add on. So if you sell this, you get it in smaller bottles. So you could sell this to your customers. Um, loads of them buy it because everyone wants to help their dogs repel the fleas and ticks in spring. So you can definitely retail this in a busy salon as well. And it sells really, really well, really well. <laughs> So, my Buzz Bud Spring is my fourth um, spring must have. So, last spring must have now. Um, how many of your dogs have ear issues in spring? Oh, they're just everywhere, aren't they? As soon as they get hay fever, I'm sure more dogs have hay fever than more people have hay fever, actually. My dog, um, Maverick, is actually allergic to life. He's allergic to grass, plants, trees, dust mites, house mites, every type of meat apart from lamb and venison, so he's a very expensive dog, he's very posh. <laughs> um, but with that comes lots of ear problems, and I'm sure I know many, many other groomers that have poodles and other breeds, not just poodles, that have ear problems. It's, they, they are quite prone to it. Anything with a hairy ear is quite prone to an ear infection, which in spring when all those allergies come out really doesn't help. Um, so I actually personally use this every three days on my poodle and it's a really deep ear cleaner. So I'll just bring it a bit closer so you can see. Um, so that is the ear wash. I'm not sure if you can see that, perfect. Um, this lasts for ages as well. So bear in mind I do this every three days. This probably lasts me a good month and a half, um, this bottle, which is 500 mils, I believe. Yeah, that's 500 mils. So it's really sparing and it also makes a difference. Some people just do the wipes in the salon. Um, this is a deep ear cleaner, so it gets right down, rinses the ear out effectively and also protects it against um, anything in there. It flushes out anything in there. And again, in spring, that, that really is a must have because um, spring there's just allergies galore in spring, honestly. <laughs> um, it's also got aloe vera in, so it's a really good calming agent there. Um, I use aloe vera on my hands every night because um, I'm a groomer and they're in water all day. So I use aloe vera, so I know the effects of it. Aloe vera is fantastic. I use it under my eyes, get rid of those wrinkles. <laughs> Um, so aloe vera is in there, it's kind of a really good product to keep the ear calm, if it's a bit irritated it will just kind of soothe it, make it less itchy for the dogs as well. Um, so how I use this, I don't have a dog here to show you on which is annoying, it's mine going out with the dog walker today, um, but you just use, so open it up and you lift the ear up, make sure you can see the ear canal, clear any hair beforehand if there is any, so I normally do this um, after I've kind of shaved under here but before I scissor the face. So, and then you just pop a little bit in the ear canal and then pop the ear back down, rub it, give it a little rub and then I use some cotton wool. Normally the dog will shake which is actually really good because once this goes in it will um, kind of loosen all the wax and the debris that's in the ear. They'll shake and then they'll actually shake it out onto their ear and then you can wipe it up. So it's quite important not to be too invasive in the ear. You don't want to get right in there and hurt them. Obviously we are grooming pet dogs. It's not our job to go right in that ear canal. Um, so just make sure you're being quite aware of the dog. They're all different. Some have got really big ones, some have got really small ear canals. Um, so just make sure you know the dog and just give it a little rinse after with some cotton wool. Um, you can also advise the owner when they go home that as they shake more, it's probably going to loosen up some more earwax and debris. So just to maybe give it a wipe at home. Um, again, I'm salon based, so this is a really good upselling moment um, where you could sell them some ear professional um, ear wipes, groom professional ear wipes, sorry, and just tell them to wipe it out because you can say you've done an intensive ear cleaning session today but as they shake and the wax loosens, they might just need to give it a wipe out. Um, instead of them using things like baby wipes that aren't designed for dogs, they can use the Groom Professional Ear Wipes and just give them a wipe out. And then um, that's not only good for the dog, but it's also, it's also good for you as a business as well. So they are my five top picks for spring. So I will go through them quickly again. So Serena Tunic, I'm still gonna do my little spin because I like it. <laughs> Groom Professional um, Everest Tool Table, fantastic. Ear Wash, Bye Bye Buzz Spray, and Speed Wash, okay? So they are my top five picks for spring.
me and my flower. I'm gonna go and actually do some work now. Bye!